I'm back for a pin mail video and a chat. So it's been a while since I've made some videos. Um, it's been kind of go, go, go. And it's been hard to kind of fit it back into the schedule. You know, when you're like trying to play catch up constantly and you can't like get out far enough ahead um, to kind of, I don't know, make new stuff. It's hard. So especially now, you know. Um, but I have an assistant now who is helping me in like the shop and the office and all of that. And she is a lifesaver. Her name is Sarah and I love her. Um, and we've slowly been able to kind of get stuff taken care of, fix a whole bunch of like weird stuff on the back end. Like I spent a lot of time just doing inventory and reorganizing SKUs and all that kind of stuff. Very boring, but necessary things, but they take a lot of time. Um, and now I'm finally getting to the point where I feel like I can make some videos, get content creation back in the schedule and um, come out with stuff that I think will be helpful and maybe fun to watch. We'll see. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where I want to film in this space because I've got like our little tchotchke wall behind me and then all the inventory and stuff is back here. I have a video where I'm moving in, but I need to do another studio tour video. Um, it's kind of in the middle of being done because like I've brought cute stuff. I've got, this is my little glittery pumpkin where I put on my pin backs. <laughs> These are all from pins that I bought, so. Um, but I've got this little area and these are like all the pins I've ever made. So I've got like regular pins and then pin club stuff. Let me see if I can, mm -hmm. but I think I'm going to change that because I don't like how the pin club ones, I can't fit a whole year all the way across. I think it looks kind of dumb. Um, and I've got the, let me turn you around this way. That's the pin, the big pin wall. And I think the plan now is to um, extend that and have it take up the entire wall. And like, I want to paint, I want to do all this stuff, but you know that, you know, when you just keep going, 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 and it's hard to like take a break and like settle, you know? So I just need to take the time to put some rugs down, cover this hideous carpet, um, <laughs> paint the walls and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's a very functional space, but it's not, that pretty yet. <laughs> so, pin mail. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been getting stuff here and there online and in shops. Andy and I went out a couple of weeks ago, took a day off, a day off, and uh, we just went around to some of our favorite shops. So we went to Toy Joy, and we went to Guzu Gallery, and Kino Kunia, just some of the fun places that we used to go on the weekends. But <laughs> Now we don't leave our house very much. So we went in the middle of the week, fully masked, all that stuff. So I felt a little better, but now we're back to like basically quarantining again. <laughs> okay, anyway, pin mail, let's go. So Kino Kinea is fantastic because they have, and I have some stuff in the Kino Kinea in Katy, Texas. So if you're ever out in Katy, Texas, you can find some of my pins and cards and things like that. So that's exciting. Um, but they have the pottering cats, which I love. So look at this. This is just, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oops, get my face out of there. It's just a little kitten having a drink. And then this one is a little kitty by telephone. Oh, oh, there we go. I gotta remember how to do this. Precious. And then I got this one. If anyone knows kind of what they're doing, let me know. I'm not quite sure what that board is, but I love their little teamwork. And then of course, I already have one pottering cat's pin of a cat on a potty, like reading a newspaper, but this one was too good. I couldn't, I couldn't not get it. I need to just go back and get all of them. They had a whole row of just, so cute. And then at Guzu, they had, some Cowboy Bebop pins, and these are from the opening of the show. And speaking of another top five favorite TV show, I count this as a, a top five favorite TV show. Um, how cool is that? I love Cowboy Bebop so much. It's my most favorite anime. It's like 
I listen to the soundtrack for it. Like I have all of the different soundtracks for it and I listen to it more days than I don't. Like it's seriously on constantly. It's like part of my being now. Okay, next is Lex Cups. You know she is my BFF, my ride or die. She's so super cute. And look at these, look at this rainbow. Look at this little hands. Look at the little hands and the little face. Look at the glitter. Everything she touches, it's so good. I love like, she's just been on a roll lately and it's just so fun to watch everything that Libby does. <gasps> She's the best. I got, I almost just put this whole box up to show you my address. This tells you I've been, I haven't done this in so long. So I got some stuff from Northern Spells. Um, Trin is doing something new with her shop. I'm not sure what, but I'm excited to see. And she was uh, kind of selling through some existing stock to do new things. So I went and got a bunch of stuff and then she tossed a bunch of other things in because <laughs> I'm sure she's like, get it out the door. I want to do something new. <laughs> We've got some washi tape, like a whole mess of stickers. I already gave some to my son. He, he commandeered them and they're sticking on his dresser. We let him stick everything on his, cause we just got an Ikea dresser for him. And, um, and he basically just took them and ran and went on the dresser. Okay, so pens. Here's a couple of little ones she added in. We've got her signature moth. I've got that in a couple of colors already. So pretty. And then this little round. But I bought, um, I've got a Bilbo Baggins because I love Lord of the Rings. Let's talk about Lord of the Rings. I am. I reread Lord of the Rings. I'm rereading Hobbit now. I'm rewatching the, the movies. It's a whole thing right now in my life. Okay, so she's got these little runes, which I think are pretty cool. And I don't know how much is left in her shop, but go check it out because she's like she's clearing stuff out. It's all really cute. A little spell book, and then we've got some little potions and ghosties look how cute her work is so fun I'm really excited to see what she does next and that last one is this teeny little crane isn't that fun I love it yeah I'm definitely going to have to expand the wall it's so funny I, I put up a video of like putting the wall up and I added five five or six like eight new boards and now they're all overlapping again, but that's fine. I'm gonna fill the whole wall and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, and last but not least, I wanna show you our newest gnomes because we have a gnome of the month club called the Gnome Adventure Guild. And we've got this big baddie, we call him Crab Lord. Look at him on this card. Look at him, <laughs> he's ridiculous. And we made a tropical uh, merman to go with him, so. So like this guy's a little smaller and he's got to ride a giant crab, but this guy's like king of the ocean and he's like back up. I'm sorry, I'm such a dork. But I love these guys. We always have them battling. So thank you for watching. Um, give me a little hands up emoji um, in the comments if you made it this far and liked it because I need a little encouragement because I'm nervous being back on YouTube again. Ooh. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. I'm also on TikTok. I'm trying. Um, and yeah, you can find all my links down below if you have any questions about it, um, about any of the pins that I show, let me know. I'm gonna put links to them um, and I almost said show notes. I am not on a podcast. <laughs> I've been listening to way too many podcasts in the description below. I'll also make a blog post that kind of corresponds with this. So um, you, can, you can check it out there too. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.